I'm a prick, I'm sick and make loving it. Milk! Tell me, milk! Why are you hating? I hit 2 million views on my basement. Drew told me, bro, let's go out on vacation. I'm still on probation, big bro. I came. Finally, Queso has come back with another react show. And I had to slow it down because this is a little bittersweet. You're gonna be the death of me. Today, we are reacting to Mike Reckless slash Mike Righteous. And I said his name right the first time. Fire in the Booth Part 4. Now we start off this journey, whether I can't remember as a Patreon request or a comment on the video, but you know, I seen him, but I was like, what the heck? All right, we gonna do it. You know, he's from the UK, on Fire in the Booth, he's probably can rap, and went on to listen to what had to be one of the best rappers I've ever heard in my life. And now knowing that this is the last part, I'm so excited to get to it, but a little part of me is like, damn, so then it's over? But it doesn't have to be over. So drop in the comments what you want me to react to by Mike Reckless slash Mike Righteous. But before I break it down, break it down. Hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel. Hey, how are you doing? Hit that subscribe button because if you don't subscribe, your granny is a dirty, stinking little. We popping off. Let's get it. He's on fire. Oh. Charlie Sleuth updated the intro like a mug, didn't he? I know you're going to do this. Oh, yeah. It's how it's going to hear this, right? Let's get ready to rumble. Yeah. I'll tell everybody locked in right now, no matter where in the world you are. Mike Reckless, Apple Music Beats 1, privilege to be here. Hold tight, Sloth. Thank you for the opportunity, brother. Let's get so, I might have him confused with Loki. You know the backstory because I literally dropped their videos back to back days. But why did he change his name? Why did he go from Mike Righteous to Mike Reckless? I just like naturally being the definition of those words. There's such a story behind that I can tell, but it's not my story to tell. So I really want to know. Y'all might know better than me. What is his explanation for the name change? Yeah. Yeah. I'll kill them in the verse and in real life I'll kill them so they learn what it feels like Life's only guarantees that you will die mm. yeah. I'll kill them in the verse and in real life uh -huh. I'll kill them so they learn what it feels like uh -huh. Life's only guarantees that you'll die This is an older mic, you know what I mean? Like, based off of going from one to four You really watch a transition He done got that grown man weight on his body and shit and you can hear it. You can hear through that melody. You can hear how deliberate and direct the messaging is. How simplistic. The, the bars were simple. It was three sentences. But in those three sentences, he said a lot. You can tell the way he does that effortlessly. The way now he might be a little more comfortable with his voice. And willing to go into pockets of high or low melodies. Doing things like that. Singing, essentially. That comes with experience. So I already know this probably gonna be the best one because he ain't no came over. I think what it feel like. Cause hold on. I'll kill him so they learn where it feels like. Uh-huh. Life's only guarantees you'll die. Yeah. I'll kill him in the verse and in real life. I'll kill him so they learn where it feels like. Uh-huh. Life's only guarantees that you will die. Look. I'll kill him in the bus in the road that you see what he did to how his eyes jumped up and his voice is returned to the mic. I know this is now we're getting to that grizzly don't give a fuck revolutionary MC that we've not grown to learn to love, sorry. And you hear it. You hear it. He's reverting to self. He's getting his he's getting in, he's getting in his groove. He's back. This is who we know, the legend. And sometimes when people say things, you have to be careful not to allow your emotions to get in the way of messaging. When I say that, sometimes we get offended before we can learn. Or sometimes we get scared too. We hear the word die and we go, we just attach that negative connotation to it and we go, oh, he must be saying something bad. No, he's not. 
The only thing in this world that's for sure is death and taxes. That's for shit show. Those are the only guarantees in this world. So you can look at that as damn, uh-oh, what, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. You could look at it as a, that means that there's infinite opportunities. That means in one day I could be like Elon Musk, shit. On one day I could be a crackhead. It's really your choice. The maturity is there. You can tell. You can the hear it. Look, I'll kill him in the burst in the real life. Uh -huh. I'll kill him so they learn what it feels like. Mm -hmm. Life's only guarantees he will die. Said I feel like killing myself, I still might. Mm. Said I'm gonna hang out the mic, I'm still might. Rock while I'm by my side, it will bite. He ain't friendly, ain't been fed in. Yo, you know what's the craziest part of that shit? I was still processing the intro line. Then he does the mic, I'm still mic, the name change, the mic, the mic. Oh, yeah, no. Man, that nigga disgusting for that. He evil, evil doer. But we talk about that. That, that first line is so important. And it's in messaging. Did you see how he was able to give you something so like, <gasps> And it just almost like brushed away for some people. But for me, that stood out. For me, I heard that. I could feel it. I knew exactly. I, oh, my God. This man's pouring his soul out. This man is using his music as a sanctum of, of, of relief, counseling, therapy, better, something. He's telling us his real life story. Bro, when you start your verse off, what I wanted to. Oh, so then what's the rest of it? <laughs> so then what? He got to go. Hi, where do we go from there? Then he go to the mic, mic, mic. Hold oh, no. on. Said I feel like killing myself. I still might. Mm. Said I'm going to hang out the mic. I'm still might. What while I'm by my side, it will bite. He ain't friendly. Ain't been fed in 10 weeks. He's like me. He hates feds and MCs. He ain't ate. And if the plate is empty, we hunt beef. Fame, mate. This ain't fresh meat. Bother me, my end. And barely make ends me. If you saw what the bang done to your friends, teeth, you wouldn't be on lies saying shit to offend me. I shouldn't go outside looking to find you, but don't tempt me. Oh! Adds a little more oomph to it just to give it off. But listen to what he's saying. This nigga's giving real bars. This is why I love Mike. Because I am able to do why do what my dream was as a kid. Like, I, I always dreamed of something like this. A way that you could use music. But through music, you actually talk about what music is about, which is life. We spend... So much time creating enemies in our head. Could you imagine that there's people that I've never met in a state I've never, probably never stepped foot in, never been in their hood, never, never met none of their guys, and never met none of mine, that adamantly hate me, right? There's a YouTuber saying that, I'm the dipper. Come on, you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. Come on, I love it. But... Isn't that ridiculous? When MJ says you start in the man in the mirror, bro, take that literally. You, none of our families are perfect, right? None of us are perfect, but none of our families are perfect. So there's little things we could all do to make our families a little better, right? So the oppositions you have in life are anything impeding that. Your opponents of that. Any things that are impeding you or your family, not a nigga on YouTube. Uh, uh, I was a felon before this. I'm making YouTube videos. What you want me to do what I'm doing before? So I'm just saying, we spend so much time wasting our energy, wasting our mind. Why do people have negative things to say about Mike? You don't know him. You've never met him. You've never walked, can't say a mile. You ain't gone down the block in that nigga's shoes. How could you ever judge him? I love what he does with rap. If you wanna be on the line saying shit to offend me, I shouldn't go outside looking to find you, but don't tempt me. Since so much telly in my life, I think I'm 10 feet wide. Don't get me like an empty sky, my mind wide like FBI. Sick of trying to guess what happens to me when we die. Pull up in the blue and free the black bit. Oh! And now he's stunned. Because do you know why I love this? 
because I don't agree with everything he says, but I get it. I can empathize with him. And I'm not, we're not uncivilized people. I could have a differing opinion with you of anything and still like you, actually. I might like you more. There's a line that Mike said that even in, during the reaction, it might have been one or two. He said something about like, he, he, he don't buy the jewelry and shit, you know, and he, he's sort of against it. And now in this, he's talking about, he just shit on me, he was just flexing, right? And some people would take that to go, he's a hypocrite. No, 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 he's not. Well, if he is, we all fucking are. Tell one of us who ain't. It's evolution. I might be wrong. Buying jewelry might be stupid. I don't know, you know? But he has at least experienced it now. And he's honest about his experience. You can look through his whole experience. We're not perfect. Listen to my music. I've done egregious things. Things I'll never, ever be able to make right in the universe. I know that. But it's the evolution. At least I'm trying. At least I'm here right now. I've evolved. So if I do go back and give you something, if I do tell you about how criminal activity works, I have a level of nuance that another person might not have because you never experienced it. I love how he just he just lives his life. It is so honest. Why wouldn't he? These niggas like, what, 10 years in the game at this point? Nigga, go get you a balance. Yeah, you deserve it. You've been fucking killing it. You've been standing up for people this whole time. You've been fighting against the bully, against the system. Do you know how many opportunities, how many millions of dollars he's probably missed out on because of how he talks? Go get a Benz, baby. You deserve it. You want the Benz? Go you feel me? But I just love that he was able to do that. It progresses as a person. I'm not saying it's necessarily an evolution, but it is a progression. And I like that for him. You can try to guess what happens to me when we die. Pull up in the blue and free the black bit. Lead the black brain, G, the black crazy. She got an STI. Pull up shooting out a passenger and then we drive. Is it really any wonder why the MV might? Don't fool into miserable, cool it and mystery. Pulling with all of my mandem and symmetry. Pulling for all of my mandem and symmetry. Pulling for all of you man's infinity. Finna be grabbing the bag of the pip and the ham and the Who's fucking with him? Who's fuck? Does anyone else even have four parts? Is there anybody with four? Who comments? 
Drop it in the comments. That's what I'll be talking, forgetting to say that. Uh, what did I just say? Oh, is, does anyone else have four parts of a fire in the booth? Give the rap till I'm dead. This way, I'm rapping, I'm rapping, I'm split. Oof. People in the back of your whip, and I'm ready to get back and attack you again. I'm actually rapping, I'm having a fit. Perfect. I'll be rapping as a gift. I'll rap till I'm dead. This way, I'm rapping, I'm rapping, I'm split. She ratchet me, shagging, I'll rap on the dick. And catching the rush, I'm a rush on the list. Go grab some on my wrist. In case I bump into a rapper or a dist. Hey, old sloth, I finally understand why these rappers are pissed. Why is that? <laughs> They're actually pricks. I'm rolling like an athlete with holes in my track. You're rolling with a staffy. You know I can catch you alone in the alley and in my back pocket. I'm Say whatever you want about the guy. You know, you might go, he's a little too political for me. He's a little more, con he's a little too conscious for me. He's a, but that's fine. Have your opinion. But you can't say that he's not good at rapping. You cannot say that. That he's not great at, that's, 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 that's oh my God. And oh, it's so compact and it's so perfect. And that is what I love about Fire in the Booth is that it is live because it's like, you hear when people stumble up a little bit, but it's so perfect. He, he kept being himself through all of these fire in the booths. And I think that's why they all get better. Because as people, ourselves, as time goes on, should get better. So when you look at if your music is really you, you will evolve. The flows will be tighter. The, it, it's gonna, you're going to be a little more fit. Eventually, you'll become better. Even listen to Gucci, man. That nigga can sort of rap now. Evolve as a person. Your music evolves. The evolution of Mike, now Reckless, even the name changed. I've been one of the dopest things I've ever watched on YouTube. In the valley, you know I'll be anti. I'm smoking the Cali. It's kosher, not ammy. You're rolling with baggy. Let no one distract me. There's holes in your plan, and the whole thing is patchy. You wanted to stop me. I'm off on them caddies. Off on the patchy, whatever I'm off on, I know you won't catch me. So go take a backseat. Gauges on max pressure. Trades in black leather. Like my name's Max Teller or Jax Teller. But it ain't. It's the T, the A, the K, the A, the L, the O, the B, the I, the G, the H, the A, the S, the H, the I. And if you can't say the name, say it's mine. Cause I put the ash in tackle Lubagashi. I put the lube in tackle Lubagashi. I put the lube in smash it in a bay. I put the lube in smash it in a bay. They don't like me cause I'm moving who's gay. Don't act like I won't move the man. I got family at Elmley. Niggas be saying he's not freestyling, but I think what Mike does that other artists do is he actually does incorporate freestyles amongst this. When I say freestyle, that is what we usually mean. You're not assuming most people are coming 100% off of the top, unless it's like Harry Mack, right? But even with anyone except for him, there is always going to be at least one or two bars that were pre-recorded it's or pre-thought of it's never 100% organic because a rapper raps all day you don't stop rapping you just randomly if you think of dope rhymes you hear a dope word you'll think of a, so you're only gonna have something I might have been rapping 20 seconds before I started rapping of course I'm gonna but what you do is you use those to transition through sound you use it so that you don't you do it so you can get to the next bar, the next thing. And I think he does it so perfectly. Notice how he went into like a slower, more modern, more trap sound and then used that as a progression or a bridge into his next part of his verse. The man is like a musical theory genius. They don't laugh at I say the name says my Cause I put the ash in tackle lubagashi I put the lube in tackle lubagashi I put the lube and smash it in a bay I put the lube and smash it in a bay They don't laugh me cause I'm moving who's gay Don't act like I won't move the man I got family at Elmley Family on Cat B Family on Elm Street Found us a bad dream I ain't with a chat shit Catfish wanna have beef Have behind the at sign I feel like you're active You just wanna act deep Hit him with a chat shit Are you got family on Elm Street? That's a they don't like me cause I'm moving who's gay Don't act like I won't move the man I got 
family at Elm Lee, family on Cat B, family on Elm Street, found that's a bad dream. I ain't with a chat shit, catfish wanna have beef, hide behind the act sign, acting like you're active, you just wanna oh. have beef. Hide behind the act sign, acting like you active. Let me put my shades on, cause that thumb thugging don't mean nothing. Let's see something, I'ma show you niggas what it do. Hey, see your eyes on me, my eyes on cheese. It's just, uh, 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 come on. Just wanna have beef, I'm behind the outside, I can like you active, you just wanna act deep, you don't wanna gas but I smell a gas leak, wanna walk gladly, not seen with a hand speed, runs in a family, one brother was an athlete, other was a crack fiend, mother was a trap queen, shake on my surname, tackle over gas, you longer than a <laughs> Oh, Bill, go. Sometimes you look at that shit. That nigga will. I love how he'll talk about that real shit. And like, I think he says the rappers are scared of him. Dipper will go farther. I think reactors are scared of him. I don't think most reactors are able to talk about him for 45 minutes because he'd slip up. You break character. You couldn't keep it a bean this long. You would break character because. This man is forcing you to talk about such real things. Eventually, you'll slip up. You couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, we both had fast hands. One, one brother was an athlete. The other was a, was a crack fiend. His mother was a trap queen. What is he telling you? What is he saying? So much, actually. Look at the lives of those kids. Look at... Look at Look at how these people turned out. And yes, yes, some will defy the odds. Some will be gr great regardless of the shit that they came from. Yeah. But for the, the rest of everyone else who isn't that great, I'm not saying you're not great either. Just not that great to like walk out of hellfire with a, with a crown. Not everyone can do that. Some of us can just walk out. But we're going to be hurt. We're going to be damaged. You start looking at what was the root cause of it. Well, his mama was a trap queen. I knew some trap queens. I, the kids got took them by CPS and a motherfucker. Thank God for CPS. I ain't never. I know. These are real realities that people have to deal with. So when you see that crack fiend on the street, before you judge that nigga, before you laugh at him, before you walk by, let's fuck up. Before you go, before you hand him a little money, you had that little fight. He's just gonna use it on alcohol. Do you remember this? This 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 nigga's mama might have been selling crack in front of him. This nigga mama might have been selling pussy in his bed. This nigga mama might have beat him because it takes a lot for someone to get to that point, right? That nigga has probably gone through all of the worst tragedies in the world and you can't give him two dollars for a fucking beer you you have to drink a beer when you come home for fucking work this nigga been sleeping under a bridge why can't he drink a beer but we said that you're not lucky that nigga mama was a trap queen that shit ain't cool that shit ain't the wave I seen this goofy ginger bitch talking about she's on trap queen, bitch. All right, let me tell you, I got something for that. Oh, no. Bill for us, you lay a bum on any one of us, you will get touched, fuck debating. Mess with any. Oh, Bill got Bill for us, you lay a bum on any one of us, you will get touched, fuck debating. Mess with any one of us, I'll cut some faces. Family, even if we ain't blood related, we gon' link up and bun some flavors. Man, them is an understatement. Dedicate this to anybody in the scene and it's victims. A sympathetic guys, cause I've been one. I provide wisdom, advice, and give love. I wish to find some myself, but get not. You talk a tough one on Twitter and Insta, fuck the internet and the flip. He now wants to be someone who can teach, who can help, and who can love. And sometimes people become that because they get tired of searching for it. Because they get tired of looking for it because nobody provided them that. I don't got not one of my friends. I tell you the honest got not one of my friends ever got had a bond or a bail and we had and that nigga wasn't out of jail in, the, in maybe 48 hours. I never. I don't think I've ever been bonded out in my entire life. You know? 
And so like, yeah, I think I shouldn't be committing crimes. I shouldn't be in a situation where I have to be bonded out. But it's just like, okay, everyone who wasn't getting bonded out by me gets to say that. But the niggas I bonded out fucking four times one time in a week. Y'all niggas couldn't even put five dollars on a nigga book for ramen noodles. So then I go, you know what? Instead of chasing you niggas and telling y'all like, hey, what you did hurt me. I will just do my part in preparing the next people in the world who might be in that situation to do a little better. The answer is you do give the nigga money. You don't care if he gets drunk. Just give it to him. He needs it. You do bond your nigga out. Even if, he, even if he's the dumbest fuck you've ever met. Boy, that jail shit ain't... I seen a nigga fuck a nigga. You don't want to see that. Unless you want to see that. Well, that nigga didn't want to get fucked. So in that case, I didn't want to see that. Maybe if it was consensual. But either that, neither here nor there how niggas get fucked. Motherfucker shouldn't see that. That's all I'm saying. Motherfucker, I hear that nigga was screaming. I said, God damn. Nigga, they start turning to that, the motherfucked up part. Bro, nigga, I'm going to turn up the TV. TV right there, nigga. I said, we ain't going to do nothing. That nigga said, he, nigga, we, we black and oh, We can't get in the middle of that business. I said, I'm about to go to the basketball court. Bro, I threw up from them girls. Never seen something so nasty. Just, okay, let me get off this before they delete my YouTube channel. <laughs> We're gonna cut this whole shit out. No, do a terrible rap. <laughs> to find some myself, but get not you talk a tough one on Twitter and Insta. Fuck the internet in the flesh. Shit, never seen a bitch run so quick. What bitch you spitting about? Never mind which one. Let's just have a witch hunt. <laughs> I just wanna spit some lyrics and get my dick sucked. I say it how we Listen, listen a bitch run so quick. What bitch you spitting about? Never mind which one. Let's just have a witch hunt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just wanna spit some lyrics and get my dick sucked. Back. I say it how it is, and I'm the sick one. Ain't gonna be diplomacy if you diss us. Oh, 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 oh. And I ain't gonna be diplomacy if you diss us. We slide like a slip and slide. Oh no. We slide like the quail looted. I'm trying to tell you this. Mike Righteous, I like how he's able to now talk. This is something he's doing now that he didn't do, and I didn't even ever notice, but he's able to talk about some of the less mature thoughts in hip hop. Jury, bitches, club, money, all that kind of shit, you know. The things that I have grown accustomed to because this has been my conditioning and programming since I was like born, you know, we're all in a matrix. But I like that he's able to do that because. There's always those border, like, he's super lyrical. Oh, he's a swag rapper. Oh, he's a gangster rapper. And I like the artists who are able to touch into every ballpark. We're able to, and he's just brushing that line away. You know, discussing it, this car is this fucking big, this us, you go cuss, this will get stuck in it in public. I'll cut you and whoever you're coming with. That's for running with this bitch in case you're wondering. I'll cut cues and McDonald's and cut you in front of kids. Blood everywhere, they won't know what to dip nuggets in. That's for thinking I'm a prick, I'm sick of McLovin' it. Milk. milk. Tell me, milk. Could it take a bit of a touch up? What are you coming with? That's for running with this bitch in case you're wondering. I'll cut cues and McDonald's and cut you in front of kids. Blood everywhere. They won't know what to dip nuggets in. That's for thinking I'm a prick. I'm sick of Mick loving it. Ah! Yeah, man, you popping with the coffin away. I think I can't throw shade on a popular name. You went pop the or to dip nuggets in. That's for thinking I'm a prick. I'm sick of Mick loving it. Oh. Yeah, man, you pop in with the coffin of weights. Think I can't throw shade on a popular name. You went pop the got pop of the grape. Mm. That's when the plan went pop in your face and it was mm. in the flesh, but I'm popping your chain. When you was in the mirror popping your spots, I was top of the chain, top of the charts, top of the pops before you could even hold your head. Well, look. you never were in the mirror popping pimples, cuz I was running the rap gun. I was digging out the trenches, putting in graph, same trenches you hide in when the bullets come past. You're such a pussy, oh, I can't even put it in bars. Fuck a diss track, you should just get caught on your bra. Stay in your flat, pull up your bands, waving Iranian flags. Do sit on rap, love to see a pussy, yo, pooping and pissing his pants. I listen to that, yeah, I'm taking the piss and I ain't giving it back. I don't get tired like the Michelin man. Ran a new verse, killing the track, and if the truth verse, fuck it, I'm just spitting the facts. Uh, this is a homicide, they're on the mic. Can't be the one of this. 
I'm speechless. I'm, I know, I'm speechless. The truth was, fuck it, I'm just spitting the facts. Uh, this is all homicide. They are on the mic. When you wanna fight, swear on your life. Spend a day in my mind, you'll be horrified. And if I see you in the flesh, don't apologize. It's a homicide. They are on the mic. When you wanna fight, swear on your life. Spend a day in my mind, you'll be horrified. And if I see you in the flesh, don't apologize. Yeah. Bitch ass nigga, if I see you in the flesh, go get that same internet energy. That's what I'm saying, cause you gonna be so shocked how this shit go from drinking water, eat your kelp, wasabi, love each other. To, I got you in the headlock, nigga. From the milk, milk tickling your nuts. Come on. My tricklers, my creatures, you are savage, my guy. You are a savage, a real. What? I got the setup for that one. Is it really? <laughs> I said I'm gonna have him in the headlock. Oh, okay. So he gonna be lifted up off the ground. You gonna be tickling that nigga nuts, bro. Say less. That's how they do it in prison. Brand free the red specimen. Hey, nothing but love, man. Thank you for the call, brother. Thank you so much for the call. Thank hey, real so life, much. bro. Real life, mate. It's ice. Hey, it's OVO Charlie. OVO Charlie. Can't be the award guy for OVO Charlie. <laughs> That made me enjoy my job so much. Yeah. <laughs> that made me smile every morning that I fall coming to work. <laughs> you are something else, my guy. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Thank I need to go get another I mean, shirt. Yeah, yeah. No, I man, like ooh, it. Ooh, I got bars on bars on bars. Sometimes it just... You got bars on, on bars on bars on bars on bars on Canada! Canada! But we was enjoying ourselves. Milk learning to play. Want to go again? Jailhouse style. Of course. Yeah. Apple Music beats one man. I've been waiting to say that. <laughs> oh, what? Niggas that came. You know, I, I'm talking about the progression of uh, of Mike, but let's talk about the progression of the show, bro. Look at the set. Look at Charlie. Look like Slim Down. I love it. My boy got a haircut, didn't he? Came to the woman, slimming down to get a little hair. I just like Charlie. You know what I'm saying? That's my nigga, but there's a lot. Look, the Beats ones everywhere. He got the OVO hoodie, you know what I'm saying? Look at the setup. Look, this He's made it. From something that looked so underground in the beginning to now looking like such a corporate thing, he made it. And congratulations, because that's the goal. You always want to make it out the basement to a set. Pick up everybody listening right now. The realest right with the brillest. You will feel it. Feel it, yeah. What's say? Feel it, yeah. Feel it, yeah. These balls about to kill it. I know you gon' feel it. You know that I'm still in the game. I ain't gonna get out of my face. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my boy, yo, feel it. It's smoke it in public. Can you feel it? Only roll with the realest in life. I grown with them in the best. Lose hope. My bros will go to prison, but there's still no quitting with life. Through stones, my bros, they play cricket. Stay winning. Class A still in the game. Get out of face. All out of space. You in a power range. I don't doubt the flame and don't doubt the name. Cause it's Mac and Game. Yeah, I'm back again. Yeah, I'm attack again. I changed the game. I changed the name. I like the name. I like the name. I said I like the name. In the concrete. You waste, man. You're not deep. Scumbag, give me some cotton. <laughs> and you know the words for the song. You'll fight, nigga. You'll fight, nigga. That's a song. Which is a cool song, but no, bro. This is what hip hop of today be missing sometimes. I know I sound like a fucking old man at 24, but if you don't have lyrics, you're not rapping. Do you see what he was able to do with this beat? Something that, that uh, ABG, whatever, the, 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 I'm gonna for that butt, I don't even know the fucking song is it, but hearing that shit's gonna bother me. But hearing that, hearing an actual rapper get on it, look at how he gets off and look at how the stakes, cause it's always about making it epic, making it grand, make it big, make life feel the way that life actually feels and not the way that we interpret it through We've been drinking tap water for a long time, you know? It don't shine as bright as it does for everybody, or if we didn't. Just changing his name. Just changing his name. But he killed it. Whatever that, and I want to hear the story behind it, but whatever it was that that represented to me, to him, he has put into the grave. I feel that, man. 
I feel that. In the concrete, you waste man, you're not deep. Scumbag, give me some cognac, flip that. You waste man, you're not deep, you a trash bag. That would give me some rad bean, a stellar in a strong ball, call it strong back, it's got a strong kick, call it on back. You wanted a box man, tilt your clocks man. Now it's looking like you don't wanna fight, what's wrong man? You wanna come back, nigga talking about long now. I can wave a wand and have you gone away, I'm on his magic top, I got a rabbit in and I can make you vanish if you want that. You got a problem, but you stop man. Got a blowing on me, I'm like, what plan? That's right, that's my bars and boxes stacked high, your plan just backfired. You don't wanna clash, you get dashed in the fat fire. We can clash with a live band, sapphire, campfire. But you ain't got the will, I'll tell from your attire. La la, you gas like hand dry, don't talk, you tell it for me. Gossip like you was fucking, you man bore me, telling the same old stories. Fuck it, I live it, I love it. The lyric, I spun it, I bill it, I bun it, I'm on it to one, it's the off the shit. Every day I'm off the shit, you gon' really stop the shit. Know some drillers from the bits, they gon' really fuck the shit. Industry is off the hit. Send you to the stone station the tampons ain't working. Go get me the pads, baby. That's that's how heavy that flow was. Flow so goddamn big. Had it the beavers in that motherfucker smoking the backwoods. Talk about boy, ain't, ain't enough trees in the world. Thought that kind of flow. Ain't enough twigs in the world. Baby, you're gonna need two of them. For them gray. This nigga. This is the best, the best fire in the book. This is the, this might be the best, just freestyling over niggas beats I've ever heard. They gon' really pop the shit, industry is off the hinge, about to pull it up again, load it pop it, mother, tell me who the fuck is this, don't be trying fucking shit. Awards. Up again, loaded pop my mother. Tell me who, who the, the fuck, fuck is this? this? Don't be chatting fucking shit on my fucking phone again. In a rough in my sessions, you ain't day ones. We ain't regions. I don't know you, I don't owe you anything. My circle's smaller than a motherfucking wedding ring. I never let a waste man on this side of the river. Never let a waste man on this side of the river. Oh, hold on, hold on. Never let a waste Never let a waste man on this side of the ocean. Mm -hmm. Never let a waste man round here, no, but the waste man antido, but the waste man potion. Whoa, go back where you came from, waste man, should I spray man, a man, you a waste man, got a blade strap, blade strap from a waste man, you get slayed cause you ain't gang, you ain't pay tax, then wait, 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 we won't pay back, be nay summers and we never being paid yet, we don't give a fuck about fame or a paycheck, but now we fucking coming for your money like a bailiff, yeah, I got no patience, you be a patient, need cooperation or no operation, you're a no prick and you don't know, whenever you roll in the crew go home, or if you cropped out and crew for O's, only a few can stay true, the rest up together like Polos. Wherever you go, you do coco. You do this shit on the low low. You be snitching to the popo. We don't do that shit. We don't condone that. You can whoop the blank. I said none, no rats, none. It's the flow for me. This is his best because <sighs> it's so good. Like this is his best fire in the booth because. I've never seen this much range from him. He struck the chord in me. The reason I fell in love with the first one wasn't necessarily for the flows or anything. The flows were dope, but the dopest part was what he was saying. Those lyrics, those vests, they were real. They were unapologetic. He wasn't scared. He didn't care what. He was just giving it his all. I respected it. I'm a real nigga, real, real recognized, real. He was looking very familiar. I think I see this ID. So then he does, so then we go to two or three, and like, yeah, he plays with it. It's, it that, none of them have been bad. All of them have been great. Like I've said, it's probably the four best for sure. Like as far as anyone who's gone more than once, he's the best. But now he's playing with flows I didn't know, I didn't even think of. Because he's so lyrical. He's kept using them fluctuations in his voice. And he's still giving you a real message. These niggas ain't here for you. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Make good decisions. Don't be a bitch nigga. 
have morals, have principles, stand on something. Honor thy brother and neighbor. Don't just, don't come in here just throwing hate in the game for no good reason. Where I'm from, we beat up haters. And he's still able to do it on a beat that, I can't remember the name of the song, but the rapping was not this good. He's able to do it with flows he was never using before. He's using fluctuations he's never using before. He stayed in a very lyrical ballpark and it was great. But now he's saying, bro, I can do it all. I can use a flow that you might hear future user. I might use a beat Gunner used. And I'm going to kill it every time because I'm that good. Because beats shouldn't be constraints, but just new palettes, new passageways to express yourself. Through using, listening to the UK, UK drill, UK rap, grime, all the things that I've been reacting to in like, what, the last six years, six months, a year, it's crafted my new album differently. Now I go, yo, I want to hear what Queso would sound like on one of these UK drill beats. I want to hear one of these like heavy, heavy instrument, heavy type Dave beats. I want one of them joints. Because beats are just to enhance the product. If you already left, you go rap, you go rap. The beat just gonna tell you a little different way to do it. And Mike gets that. We don't do that shit, we don't condone that. You can whoop the black, I said, no, no, rest. No, 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 no. Get your whole dome blow back. Let the window roll back. You a waste man, if you're You can just tell you I'm gonna fall with it, too. Oh. Don't do that shit, we don't condone that. You can whoop the black, I said, no, no, rest. No, 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 no. Get your whole dome blow back. Let the window roll back. You a waste man, if you're white. If you're yellow, if you're brown, if you're black, you're all the same. You all get killed, you all the lame. Yeah. Fuck the game, you call my name. Yeah. When I'm and that's that's crazy. You know, I was telling that story earlier that I don't know whether it's gonna get cut out of this reaction or not. And you know, what one of my homies told me, you know, we're all the black people. We all link up. I mean, you know, those are Mexican people. We don't we don't handle their business. They, that's their business. And we look pat like because of their race. You know, we just allow the injustice to happen, or we just allow it to happen. But it's like, bro. We all in this motherfucker together. It would actually be a way better place if I wasn't scared of getting stabbed by all y'all other niggas and us. Why are we in here judging each other? We all minorities, my nigga. It ain't like you could just be to hate black people that'll make you white. You ain't ever gonna be white. Why are we hating each other? Even bigger, why are we all sharing this planet together just hating the fuck out of each other? Like, bro, it would just be way better if we just did. We wouldn't even have to talk. We just, if we weren't trying to kill each other, it'd be way better. I'm trying to tell you. Tell me, is it really not? Tell me, is it really not? Tell me, is it really not? These men don't know they're dealing off I'm really fucked My brother's in a fucking hospital bed right now The ticket nearly took an overdose Can't afford to train home cause I'm over bro Don't know the half Trying to stop me on road for a photograph And an autograph Working like And that's why I respect it Cause you don't flex If you're not honest He been broke before His brother OD He laying in a hospital bed Young Thug said it's like you can't ever escape problems. No, because it's spirits, it's energy that exists in the world. You need the bad to keep the bad, the good in check. And vice versa. And no matter how successful you go. I moved to Austin, Texas and heard some shit happen back home. I'm like, damn, boy, I've been here like two days. What if I would have been there? What if I would have got hit? Oh, no. You would think like, well, I'm a YouTuber now. My worst fear should be a, a, another YouTuber making a unsavory video about me. That should be my biggest fear. Not my niggas getting shot still because I, we're not doing that no more. I'm not doing that no more. But it's like, no problems don't escape you. Addiction doesn't have a, 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 a it, it doesn't care how rich you are or poor you are. I don't care if you're black, white, fat, skinny, male, female, we uh, we all know an addict. I grew up in during the opioid epidemic. Yeah, I know a lot of pill heads. These are real problems. No matter how successful you get in life, you will never ever be able to escape problems. You won't.
can't move away from them. You can't run from them. You can't pull your pants up from them. You can't talk your way out of them. They're coming. You just got to know how to deal with them when they come. Robot, that's an auto bra. Trying to support my six year old son and a two year old daughter. Dog, I swear I ought to chart. I can't really be fucked with this music shit. I don't really want to do it no more. Not until I realize my freestyles are fucking sick. I freestyled this, just made it up in five minutes. Just bunning piff in the moat over Westlake. We were driving back on the motorway. We're doing 110, that's my pro day. So don't act like you don't motherfucking know today. What are you saying, Slop? Wow! He almost gave up on music, but he just had to remember how dope he is and how needed he is. In five minutes, his nigga crafted his best work to me. Let's hear some of his songs before I start calling this his best work, but his best fire in the booth for me. <laughs> this shit is different, nigga. Yeah. Man! I call out like the goosebumps. You can see the goosebumps in my heart. I mean, I'm yeah. a special man. It wouldn't be a Mike Righteous reaction without goosebumps. I forgot to tell y'all. No, it's not near us. Don't fear me. Love me. And if you fear me, then thank you. Because you don't fear me. You fucking fear us. Never let a waste man near us. No. No waste man. No waste man. No waste man near us. No waste man. No waste man. No waste man near us. No waste man. No waste man. No waste man near us. What? No waste man. No waste man. No waste man near us. No. We got to everybody locked in. Apple Music beats one. That's so fucking real, man. You don't fear me, you fear us. You fear the KB family. You fear the platform, you hear, fear the voice. You fear what we can be together. That was a certified vibe check. Now here comes another reaction by me right here. Bang! Music video by me right here. Bang! Click on it, show me some love. You watch the video song, you ain't hit the thumbs up button and subscribe, you a hoe. KBD family, love y'all, salute. I'm off to go change my shirt.